Hey everybody, welcome back to Vanland. In today's episode, we have a van tour for you guys. And we know you love van tours, and if you've been watching a bunch of different tours on YouTube, you'll wanna watch this one because this van was built a little bit different. So even though it's a fully decked out 2023 all-wheel drive van with pretty much everything that we offer on the inside and out, none of this van was custom. What do I mean by that? Everything that was put into this van is available off the shelf, including the interior cabinetry, the power system, and the water system. So if you're looking to build a van, but you don't want to do custom measurements and custom cabinets and custom modifications, then take a look at this one because it is truly a stunner. <music> All right, so let's take a walk around the van and I'll show you guys what's been added on the outside. But the first thing I wanted to point out was this amazing ceramic coat that was put on the van. It was done as soon as the van was finished and it's a five year protectant coating. It's super satiny smooth. So things like dust and bugs and dirt, debris, even branches scraping across the side of the van, this is gonna protect the coating for up to five years. And it really feels great and really makes it shine. And what I noticed is that you don't really even get fingerprints on this the same way you would get on just the standard uh, coating for the van. So that's really cool upgrade that this is the first time we've done it on here and it's really amazing. All right, next, let's take a look. Got your 17 inch aluminum rim and tire upgrade. This has a Van Compass 4.3 suspension kit on it. This is a 2023 all wheel drive and it is ready for off road. Having the wheels and tires and the suspension is gonna make this a comfortable and confident drive in rocky conditions, snowy conditions, mud, sand, things like that. Taking a look at the front of the van, it's fully decked out with Alvan's gear. So this is the Alvan's Pismo bumper, 12,000 pound worn winch. Um, some D-ring shackles. These are the grill lights that are inset really nicely inside the grill. And then also the upgraded fog lights here. So plenty of lighting on the front. Also up top, you can see that there is an LED light bar and that is mounted to the Owl Vans touring rack. And then we have some just protectant pieces on here. This is the Fender Armor from Terrawagon. So altogether, this is a really sweet looking front of the van, kind of understated a little bit, so it's not a huge bumper. Um, there's also connection here for the ARB air compressor. I really like the look of the front of this van. It's a little bit understated, but definitely has everything. Over here on the driver's side, amp power steps. Those are a really nice upgrade for this van. Super popular these days because they do tuck up underneath the van. So when you're driving off road, it's not gonna intercept debris. Or if you're out on a ski trip and it's snowing all day, when you come back, no snow on your steps, which is great. We've also added back here the CR Lawrence T-Vent window. This is right over the galley on the inside. So these are great because you can crack them open even if it's raining and get airflow in um, across the galley and then out through the fan. All right, we put on the flare space flares with the small pill windows. Um, we always paint the flares to match the van. I think that is the nicest look. And then back here, we have a shore power connection to power up the very large and sophisticated power system that I'm gonna show you guys on the inside. On the back, since we do have the full-size spare tire, went with the Alvan's ladder and tire carrier. Um, the full-size spares don't fit very well in the cage underneath, so you do need to move it to the back door. So we have the one up bike carrier on the back with the swing arm on it. This does carry two bikes. And I think this is a really great way to carry bicycles. I know that a lot of you who have bikes wanna keep them on the inside and it does make sense to put them in there, but you always end up giving something up when you try to get your bikes on the inside. Either you need to have a high bed or no storage underneath. As a matter of fact, in a 144 with the way this is laid out, it'd be very difficult to get two bikes inside the van. So having the one up with the two bike carrier on the back, I think is a really good way to go. Go ahead and swing this out. And with that, you're able to open the rear doors fully. 
and still have all of the storage on the inside for everything else. So now we have a pretty generous amount of storage in here. Again, it would probably be possible to get some bikes in, but we'd have to move some of the cabinetry out of the way. So if your bike isn't worth ten dollars or $20,000, then having it on the back is definitely a good way to go. The roof rack is an Alvans touring rack with a light bar on the front. There's also a Fiamma awning mounted to the side. Um, on the roof rack, there is a Starlink mounted up there as well as a WeBoost cell signal booster. So that's what's up top. Now let's take a look at the inside. All right, right here as we're starting out. So this is the Zen Vans interior cabinetry kit. And like I was saying in the beginning, this is all pre-designed and made to fit in the Sprinter. So if you want a really nice classy cabinet style, then you should consider this Zen Van cabinetry. Out here, just a nice little drop down table. And then let's take a look inside here. Here is the Zen Van's galley. And again, it's all pre-designed. This is the layout, fits really well behind the driver's seat here. Very generous sink. We've also added a drinking water tap to it so that there's drinking water straight out of the freshwater tank. Induction cooktop. I do prefer the induction cook cooktops for vans because they run off of electricity, so you always know that you can use it. Also, they don't create a lot of extra heat around the outside of the, the cooking surface. So it's really just cooking directly in the pot or pan that you're using. And so that just keeps it cool in here in case it's a little bit warm. In this inside of the galley here, plenty of storage. This is actually quite a huge opening underneath the sink, totally open there. And then we have a large refrigerator and also a pretty massive freezer. So this is the dual drawer 130 liter isotherm. Um, this is definitely big enough to get a week or two weeks worth of food in. So that's probably the biggest fridge that you would expect to have inside of a van. Storage drawers over here. And also just a large opening there. So you can put trash can in here or storage, whatever you might need. And then on the opposite side here, additional countertop space. So if you're somebody who likes to cook, this van is gonna be amazing because you have a huge galley and also additional countertop here. And then so much storage, really a lot more than a person would need for a short trip. It's a van that you could uh, live in for weeks on end, really, with the amount of storage in here and all the rest of the accommodations. The bed is an east-west sleeping orientation. That's why the flare space flares are necessary, uh, but definitely enough room for two people in this one comfortably. Um, since you do have the flares, you're gonna get over six feet of space head to toe in the back and then just a little bit under at the front. Another cool addition underneath the bed is a cabinet system. And this is a little desktop with some storage underneath. And there's also uh, outlets in there for charging a laptop, phones and whatnot. Another storage drawer and then down here, this is the pull out toilet. And some storage there for refills in the toilet cartridge or toilet paper or whatever. To finish out the Zen Vans cabinetry is this bank of five upper cabinets. Um, these are really nice. They connect straight up to the L track on the ceiling and they're very generous size with having a nice curve on it. Just makes it so you're not going to hurt yourself getting in and out of the bed. And then they have a very nice soft close. And just driving this fan around a little bit, these don't rattle at all either. So that's just speaks to the level of care and quality that they put into designing them. In the, in the back over the bed, we have a Nomadic X3 air conditioner. 
That's a 24 volt air conditioner that's connected up to the tiny watts power system. So being right over the bed, and also this is a very well insulated van, if it is a hot night and you need to get some sleep, that air conditioner is definitely gonna do the trick. Forward of that on the ceiling, one of the max air fans, plenty of ventilated windows in here. So if it's a hot day and you're coming in, you can simply crack a window, turn on the fan, get the hottest air out, and then go over to the air conditioning, turn that on, and you'll have a totally off-grid air-conditioned space to eat, sleep, work, or whatever you need to do. You guys may have noticed already, but the basic platform of this van, meaning the walls and the ceiling, are an adventure wagon kit, and we found that that paired really well with the Zen Vans cabinetry and the Tiny Watts solar system in the back. So this is basically three different manufacturers, Adventure Wagon, Tiny Watts, and Zen Vans. The, the customer that wanted this van built had already picked out all of these components. This is the first time we put together this combination of manufacturer's parts, and it went together really, really well. There are only a few little places where we had to make some modifications, but otherwise everything fit and went in and since none of it is custom, the price for the kit is known. You don't have to wonder or find somebody to make these things for you based on your custom dimensions. So therefore it went together uh, a bit faster than you would expect a custom van to go together. And then it's probably even a little bit more cost effective to do it this way. I know it always seems like it's gonna cost less for you to make your own cabinets because when you look at the price of some of this stuff online, it is quite expensive, but the end result that you get is not something that you would expect to get during your first custom design. So it was really fun, pleasure to build this van. The customer that we have is one of the fa our favorite guys and he was very patient with us during this van build. And now that it's back, he felt like it's totally dialed in and it's exactly what he wanted. So definitely really proud of this fan. I would build this fan for myself if um, I was in the market for another one right now. So the back four cabinets are open and ready for storage. The front one is where we housed the power system controls and some of the remotes. So, and there's also some storage in here. You could do a little bit of charging for your phone. Um, but this is a nice way to have kind of a control center. And this is just a, a piece of material that we added that would be quite easy to add other pieces of componentry in here if you decided to add something else that had a display. For those of us who are wanting to work on the road, you need good communications. And on this van, we have both Starlink and a WeBoost cell phone booster. So the Starlink satellite internet no matter where you are, if you have a view of the sky, you can get high speed internet. I have it on my van and I absolutely love it. Also, the cell phone booster by WeBoost is gonna give you a better signal and amplify what's available in the area and then project it into the van. So instead of getting one bar and having service cutting in and out, you'll get three or four bars in your average situation. So between the Starlink and the WeBoost, you have full communications inside the van. You can definitely work in here wherever you are. And if you can work in the van and own a business, then the van can be a business expense. So that's what, one thing that we see our customers doing is turning this into a mobile office, mobile hotel room. And if you have a legitimate reason to work in it, then it can legitimately be a business expense for you guys. Up front, there is a van wife shelf over the driver and passenger seat which is a great place to store things like these window covers. And then we have the blackout curtain. So instead of putting windows co covers up every time to black out the inside, you can pull the curtains across. Also helps give a little bit of separation from the cold air. If it's cold outside or even hot, this, this area is gonna take on the most heat and cold. So you can separate it with these curtains, just a nice addition to the front of the van. So I said that this was not a custom build. We didn't have to do anything custom on it, but there was one part that we fabricated ourselves, which we're pretty proud of because we put a curve on it to match the Zen Vans cabinetry here. But it's just this little cubby and support for this part of the cabinetry as well. So that part we dreamed up ourselves. everything else was off the shelf. Now let's take a look at the Tiny Watts portion of this build. So everything in the back is by Tiny Watts. 
these two cabinets, which house the power system and the water system, as well as the bed panels. So essentially the back third of the build is all tiny watts. And the beauty of this system is that it's pre-designed, pre-engineered, and pre-installed in this cabinet. So you have to just load it into the van and then hook up your power system. But all of this componentry, switches, and everything inside this box was already installed when it came to us. Now, I don't want to make it seem easier than it really is because there's still a lot of work to do to integrate this into a full van. But since none of this power system has to be installed by you, if you buy this complete, you don't have to worry about, is my wiring right? Are the right components in place? What about the size of wire? Tiny Watts are experts at building these out so you know that you have a full system that is completely designed for this application. So the Tiny Watts system that we have here is a 24 volt system and it comes with these two large 24 volt 100 amp hour batteries as well as a 3000 watt inverter and this particular build out from Tiny Watts has the secondary alternator connected to this wake speed controller as well as solar charging a power converter basically an integrated and complete power system in one package here on the opposite side of the power system is the tiny watts water system again it was all pre-installed and pre-connected so we just had to put it into the van and then integrate it into our own piping as a 20 plus gallon freshwater tank as well as a 110 volt water heater and a water filter all in this box if you're looking at building out a van but you don't feel like you have the expertise to spec all of this out design it and install it with confidence then this is a great solution because your power system, your water system, and your bed can all be purchased together. You know it's going to fit. You know it's going to be the right stuff. Then you can just proceed on with the rest of the build and not spend weeks or months on this particular part. The features on the back of the water cabinet here, are the, the water fill, so you can fill that with pressurized water. There is an outdoor shower connection. And then this is your timer for the water heater. So you can either leave it on permanently or set it to 10, 20, or 30, 40 minutes. The 110 water heater does use quite a bit of power, which is why you'd put on a timer so you don't forget and leave it on permanently and then drain your batteries over the course of a day. So that concludes a van tour of our latest creation on this 2023 all-wheel drive Sprinter. If you like the look of this van on the interior and you want a van that doesn't require a bunch of custom fabrication, then give us a call because we can tell you guys everything that went into this van and what it would cost to have it built. Leave any questions that you have in the comments below. If you wanna know something about this van that wasn't in the video, we will try to get those answered as soon as possible. Thanks as always for watching and we will see you guys again next time.